One of the utmost priorities when making a game is optimization. There are many types of methods, but in this tutorial I'm going to show you a fairly simple one called occlusion culling. Now occlusion culling is built into Unity. It's very simple to use and it can improve performance massively in certain cases. What it does is objects that aren't facing the cameras uh, aren't rendered. So this can essentially increase performance massively if you're using high poly models for example. So this is a very simple method and it also can be very useful. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use it essentially. So let's get on with it. Step 1. Make object static. Okay, first we need to ensure that the objects we want to be occluded are set to static. So I'm going to click on all my objects and I'm going to simply hit static. Now you can just have occluder static and occlude static for the occlusion culling to work, but for this purpose of the demonstration I'm just going to have it set to static. Um, so yes, that is all the objects I want to be static now. Step 2. Let's bake the occlusion data. Okay, now we need to actually bake the occlusion data. We do this by going into Window, Rendering, and Occlusion Culling. I've already got the tab open there, but you'll see a load of options. Now, if you've got all your objects set to static, all you'll need to do is go to Bake, um, up there, and then hit Bake again. And you'll see my computer currently, well, it's already done it, uh, but you, can you see how that um, some of the towers over there have now disappeared? That's because my camera is not facing them, so that, that means you have successfully baked. So I'm going to run the application, and I'm going to, let me just show you how it works. Now you can actually see uh, the objects disappearing and which tells us the occlusion's working. I've got a script on the camera which just simply makes it rotate, but this is just demonstrating that the occlusion's actually working. So yes, that is how you simply and quickly make occlusion culling. It will work on any object as long as they're set to static. Okay, thanks for watching this tutorial. As you can see, occlusion culling is very helpful and it's very simple to use. Hopefully this tutorial has given you an insight into how helpful it is and also how easy it is to use. If you'd like to see more content, subscribe to my channel and just comment if you need any help on anything or if you've got any video ideas which I might be able to cover in future tutorials. But thanks for watching. Uh, hope to see you soon.